It's been a mostly calm night in Ferguson as you take a look at some of the images there. However, in the past few minutes, we've seen protesters attempting to set a car on fire. Here's Jay Gray. This is West Florissant Avenue. You can see there's a squadron of state police and county police making their way through. But last night, this area was filled with violence. Different because those police officers and a lot more state uh, uh, troopers from the National Guard are stationed at both ends of this roadway, keeping the protesters out for the night. There are more police and National Guard troops on the ground here tonight. I hope we have peaceful protests. I hope... Uh, that everybody can uh, can enjoy their uh, First Amendment rights and we don't see the kind of criminal activity from last night. Protesters still echo a refrain that's been heard here since Michael Brown was killed. There have been arrests, but nothing compared to the violence last night when protesters took control of the streets, burning police squad cars and buildings as gunfire rang out across the city. Morning revealed a battered and burned out community. Many trying to piece together whatever they could. Trying to make it look nice again and, uh, you know, bounce back. Hope it don't happen again tonight. But at more than two dozen businesses here, there's little left. While for Brown's family, the damage is much more personal. I'm going to say my emotions are all over the place. Uh, I don't know what to feel. You know, I'm just... I'm just here. I'm, I'm, I'm empty. An emotion shared by so many in his community right now. Yeah, and just an update. We've heard some gunfire tonight, obviously. Uh, we've seen uh, some activity, some protesters, as you just saw. There have been some people arrested, just a handful. There have been at least two fires, but again, nothing like the mayhem we saw here last night. That is the latest live in Ferguson. I'm Jay Gray. Back to you now. Hopefully things will continue to calm down. Tonight, a police car in Kalamazoo was damaged by protesters upset at the decision in Ferguson. The police chief tells us that a window was damaged during a rally there. He called it a contained incident and tells us, for the most part, the rally was very peaceful. And there were also large crowds during a rally in downtown Grand Rapids. 24 News 8's Tom Hillen is there now. Tom? Marley, hundreds gathered here in Rosa Park Circle tonight. Many of them got up to speak, and something became very apparent that, like in Ferguson, many of those in the African American community here in Grand Rapids say they don't feel they are treated equally by police. Hands up! No shit. Tonight, people of every race, gender, and age gathered by the hundreds in a park bearing the name of a woman who was front and center of the civil rights movement so many years ago. And though decades have passed since Rosa Parks refused to give up her seat on a bus, many tonight say they still feel less than equal. Here we have our set of problems. And our set of problems could spark and we could be in the same boat. Yes. We don't want to go there. Among those in the crowd, Ronald Lane, who says he felt compelled to come join the voices here tonight. It's just upset and sad to continually to see all these killings of young black men. It's sad. In the wake of his death and the varying stories from eyewitnesses on what exactly happened the day Michael Brown was shot and killed by a police officer, his family is pushing for police body cams, something the crowd tonight says they want to see in Grand Rapids. But that is something the new Grand Rapids police chief told us in an interview last month is something he's reluctant to do. I, I, I have concerns more that people who have issues in their neighborhood and may want to share some of those concerns will be reluctant to do so. We just pray that God will be willing to make all this pass and everyone just be treated equally. No justice, no peace, no racist police. There are some departments in West Michigan, like the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety, which is working to get body cams for all of its officers. And the group here tonight vows that they will continue to push to Grand Rapids to follow suit. Live in downtown Grand Rapids, Tom Hillen, 24-Hour News 8.